It has been raining all morning here in Kansas City. A perfect day for indoor APA baseball classics. Today we have the 2015 New York Mets National League Champions taking on the American League Champions of 1946, the Boston Red Sox. The Mets will bring Jacob DeGrom, Ricky Michael Conforto, Daniel Murphy, Joannis Cespedes, Matt Harvey, today's pitcher, and Lucas Duda to Fenway Park to play the 46 Red Sox. Tex Houston will take the mound today for the Boston Red Sox. Boo Ferris, Pesky, Johnny Pesky, Bobby Doerr, and of course, the splendid splinter, Ted Williams. And if you're ready, I am too. Stepping in for the first pitch from Tex Houston is Curtis Granderson. And right away, it might be, it could be, it is a home run for Curtis Granderson on the first pitch of the game, putting the Mets up one to nothing. Danny Murphy steps in. Thirty-six is a base on balls. And the Mets have Murphy at first. Every speed. Ioannis Cespedes. Thirty-one is a roll. Nine against a grade B pitcher is going to be a single infield hit. So a very fast start by the Mets. Got Cespedes at first, Murphy at second, Lucas Duda steps in. Here's the pitch to Duda. 43 is the roll. 29 is going to be a off uh, feeling column one for the Red Sox. It's going to be a double play. Pitcher to shortstop to first base. Murphy goes to third. And suddenly there are two outs. David Wright comes up for New York. We're on third. Here's the pitch. 24 is a strikeout. But the Mets start this game with a leadoff home run from Curtis Granison, and they lead one to nothing as we go to the Red Sox half of the first inning. Much like the last half of baseball classics game, Lightning has struck early in the top of the first. Mickey Mantle yesterday hit a three run home run in the top of the first for the 64 Yankees. We go to the bottom of the first. The Mets will be using fielding column two. And Matt Harvey is a grade B pitcher with the modifiers of X and Z. Johnny Pesky steps in for the Boston Red Sox. 55 is a roll. Seven is going to be a base hit for Pesky. Fast runner at first base, and one of the Dom DiMaggio brothers will step in. Dominic Will Professor. This is a strikeout. One down. Ted Williams. Two balls and no strikes. He has a Z modifier. 62 is the roll. 40. Safe at first on the fielder's choice. First base to shortstop. So Williams is now the base runner at first. Average speed. 
And Rudy York steps in for Boston. There's a drive. It's going to be a second column roll. 61 is a 2. That's going to be a triple along the right field line. That will score Ted Williams, tie the game. at one. So Rudy York will be at third. Bobby Dorr is the batter. 65 is going to be a high pop foul ball. The shortstop gives chase and Wilmer Flores makes the catch for New York. But the Red Sox Tie it up in the bottom of the first. We go to the top of the second. One to one. Catcher Travis D'Arnaud will lead off for the Mets. 31 is a strike. Is a nine against a great B pitcher. That's going to be a single. And Diarna will be at first with average speed. Wilmer Flores is the batter. Fly ball to center field. One down. Juan Lagares. Ten against a great B pitcher. Single right center. The runner goes to third, and on the next pitch, Lagares steals second. So Mets have runners at first and third, one out, and Matt Harvey is the batter. Okay, Boston's infield is going to play back for a double play chance and they will pitch to Harvey and Harvey will swing away. 29 is on fielding column one out at first ground ball to the pitcher. Runner at third is going to hold and Oh, no, I'm reading, reading the wrong page. 29 is going to be out at first. Runners hold. Ground ball to the pitcher. Two outs. So that brings the top of the order up. Infield, of course, will still play back. And Curtis Granderson, who led off the game with a home run, is the batter. 52 is a 27. Ground ball to third base. Granderson has retired. Five to three. And the Red Sox hold off the threat to keep the score tied at one to one. We go to the bottom of the first, set bottom of the second inning. Matt Harvey will be pitching to Pinky Higgins, former Detroit Tiger. Here's the pitch to Higgins. Roll of 53 is 20 on feeling column two. It's going to be an error on Daniel Murphy at second base. Higgins will be at first. He is a slow runner, and the Red Sox will play it safe. Wally Moses. 26 is the roll. 27 is the play result, a fielder's choice. Except for it is an X modifier, so that's not going to be fielder's choice. So it will be a strikeout. So one out. Runner still at first. Al Wagner steps in, the catcher. 54 is a 38. The play result is a runner steals second, but S holds it first, and he's playing safe, so 
going to not steal. It'll roll again. 42. That's going to be a two balls and no strikes as Matt Harvey has a Z modifier. And again, 61, 36. It's going to be a wild pitch. It makes the three balls and no strikes. And this is a rare occasion where it takes four rolls to resolve in a bat. I don't recall ever doing that before. Play result is eight with a runner on second against a grade B pitcher. Runner will go to third, ground out to the to the pitcher. So with two outs, Tex Houston will step in. That is a walk. And so the Red Sox will get to the top of the order. Johnny Pesky. Johnny Pesky hit 335 in the 1946 season. So there's quite a threat for trouble here for New York. Here's the pitch to Pesky. 43 is a play result of 29. That's a ground out to the pitcher. And that is the third out at the bottom of the second inning. So we go to the top of the sec top of the third. Score still tied one to one. Tex Houston takes his warm up tosses, and Dan Murphy, breathing a sigh of relief that his air did not cost a run, steps into the batter's box. High pop fly, caught by Hal Wagner behind home plate for the first out. Johannes Cespedes steps in. Strikes out. Two away. And Lucas Duda. That is a strikeout. So a very quick inning for the top of the third. The Mets are brushed aside by Tex Houston. We go to the bottom of the third, score is still tied one to one. Don, Dominic DiMaggio leads off for the Red Sox. Then it's going to be a base hit. DiMaggio is a fast runner, first base. He will not start the runner. Ted Williams is going to swing away. 35 roll is a play result of nine, and that is going to be a Rare infield hit for Ted Williams. Not a rare hit, but an infield hit. And we got Red Sox at first and second with nobody out. Rudy York comes to bat. Rudy York tripled in the first, drove in the Red Sox run. Here's a pitch to York. 53 play result of 20 against column two. That's an error on... Daniel Murphy again. Bases are loaded. Nobody out. Bobby Doerr steps in. Huge threat here for the Red Sox. Matt Harvey winds. He pitches. Roll of 55 is an 8 against a grade B pitcher. It's going to be a fly out to the center fielder, Ioannis Cespedes, who has a strong arm, but that's deep enough to get Dominic DiMaggio to tag up and score the Red Sox second run. RBI for Bobby Doerr that brings Pinky Higgins to the plate. One away, runners on first and second. Here's the pitch. 34 is a play result of 31, which is gonna be a fly out to center field for the second out. Wally Moses. Forty five is two balls and no strikes. 
29 as they ground out to the pitcher. But the Red Sox score and take the lead going into the top of the fourth, 2-1. Two to one. Leading off for the Mets, David Wright. Roll is 53. Play resolve 18 against fielding column 2. That will be an error on the shortstop, Johnny Pesky. Wright is a fast runner at first. Travis DeArnon. Roll is 26. Strikes out. Wilmer Flores will step in. That's going to be a second column roll. 1 6 is a double over first. Fast runner uh, scores. And David Wright is a fast runner, so it's going to be an RBI double for Wilmer Flores, tying the score at two. And now with one out, Ron Laguerre steps in. 52 is the roll, 27 out of first. Runner holds, ground out to third base. Two away. That brings up Matt Harvey. And Matt Harvey, the pitcher, strikes out. Let's tie the score in the top of the fourth. Go to the bottom of the fourth, one to one. And we are at the bottom of the Red Sox order, Hal Wagner, the catcher, will step in for Boston. 21 is a strikeout. For the first out, Tex Houston, Houston steps in. That's a 6-6 six, six rolls of zero, so second column all for the pitcher here. 42 is going to be a Double for Tex Houston, who has been on base twice. He walked in the first inning. Johnny Pesky steps in. The batter's box. Matt Harvey winds and pitches. Foul ball pop out to third base. For the second out, Pesky is one for three. Dominic DiMaggio with two outs. Right. That's an eight against the B pitcher. It's going to be a ground out to the pitcher. Ending the fourth inning for the Red Sox and stranding the base runner at second base. We go to the top of the fifth. It is New York two, Boston two. Curtis Granderson leads off. 61 is the roll. 22 on feeling column one is going to be a ground out to first base. And the pitcher covering. Score at 3 to 1. Daniel Murphy steps in. 61 is a ground out to shortstop. Two outs. Joanna Cespedes. The roll is 46, and that is a strikeout. So a quick top of the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Score is still tied, 2-2. Two to two. Ted Williams will lead off the Red Sox. Half of the fifth inning, 25 is the roll. Eight against the B pitcher is going to be a fly out to center field. Williams is one for three on the day. Rudy York... 
He is one for two of the triple and reached for the nair. 34 is the roll and the fly out to center field for Rudy York. Bobby Doerr. 36 is the roll, base on balls. So Doerr is at first, average speed, and two outs. Pinky Higgins comes up for Boston. 41 is going to be a ground out to the shortstop. And that's the end of the fifth inning. Score is still tied at 2-2. Two to two. In the top of the sixth, the Mets will lead off with the first baseman, Lucas Duda. There's the pitch to Lucas Duda. 21's the roll. Strikeout. It's the second time Lucas Duda struck out today. David Wright steps in, reached on an error last time and scored. That's a 6-6, six, six, and it could be, it is gone. It's a home run for David Wright. Put the Mets back up on top, 3-2. to two. Travis Diarnod is the batter. 34 is a fly out to center field. Wilmer Flores. Base hit. Play result of seven. Puts with two outs. The Mets a runner at first. I forgot to take the runner off the Red Sox. Here is Juan Lagares. They will pitch to Juan Lagares. The roll is a play result of 16, feeling column 1. That's going to be a single, and the runner will go to second base. So, two outs. Matt Harvey is due to bat. And, you know, I think I'll, we'll just stay with him. Forty-six is a strikeout, but the Mets score one in the top of the sixth. Take a one-run three-to-two lead. In the bottom of the sixth, Wally Moses will lead off for the Boston Red Sox. Sixty-three is a fly out to center field. One away. Catcher Hal Wagner steps in. He is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. 53 is a roll of 21. And that will be an error on the first baseman, Lucas Duda. So Wagner at first, average speed. Tex Houston, the batter. That is the third error of the day committed by the Mets. Houston's going to square around and try to sacrifice. 34 is the roll. 31 on the play result. Out at first, runner to second. Scored 3-4. to four. So the sacrifice is successful. And, the, and um, Wagner goes to second. Top of the order to Johnny Pesky, but two outs currently. Here's the pitch to Pesky. Pesky's had opportunities with men on base today. See if he delivers here. 52 is a roll of 27, and that is going to be a ground out to the third baseman. Ends the Red Sox half of the six. We go to the top of the seven. New York three, Boston two.
Curtis Granderson will lead off the top of the seven. 54 is a fly out to right field. First out. Daniel Murphy. Had a rough day. Two errors. And he's 0 for 2 at the plate. 1, 2, 25 is going to be a X rated, X um, modified pitcher, so it's going to be a strikeout. Two outs. Didn't mean to say that, start to say that Tex Houston was an X rated pitcher. X modified. Jonas Cespedes, 24, is a strikeout. Bottom of the seventh, still 3 2 Mets. Dominic DiMaggio will be the leadoff hitter for Boston. Forty-four is a play result of seven. That's going to be a single, and I think they're going to be stirring here in the New York bullpen. Ted Williams is coming coming to bat. It's the Williams. Fifty-six is going to be thirty-four play result. High pop fly out to the shortstop. Williams is one for four. One out in the bottom of the seventh, and Rudy York steps in. 54 is going to be a fly out to right field. Runner holds. Two outs. Bobby Door. 32 is a roll. 26. Is a ground out to second base. We go to the top of the eighth, score still Mets three, Red Sox two. Lucas Duda will lead off the top of the eighth for the Mets. 54 is the roll, fly out to right field, one down. David Wright. He has homered, struck out, and reached on an air. Here's the pitch to right. Ground ball to second base, or X. And Tex Houston has an X, so he has a strikeout. Two down. Travis D'Arnon, the catcher. 32 is a ground out to second base. Bottom of the eighth we go. 3-2 New York. Both starting pitchers are still in this game, and they pitched pretty well. Pinky Higgins will lead off for the Red Sox. That is going to be a single against Matt Harvey. And one more bad thing, and probably we'll go to the bullpen. Wally Mo Moses steps in. 46 is a 29 play result. Safe at first and a fielder's choice. Uh, pitcher to shortstop. So Moses is a fast runner is at first. Hal Wagner the batter. And there's one out. 65 is going to be a foul pop out to the catcher. Two outs. And in the timeout here, there will be a pitch hitter for Boston. Okay, Lee Culberson will be the pitch hitter with two outs here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And that's a second column roll. That could be trouble for the Mets. Here we go on the second column. 65 is a six. That will be a double. Fast runner at first scores. And so Moses crosses the plate and... Culberson delivers as the pitch hitter to tie the score at three. Now to the top of the order and Johnny Pesky. 
and New York is going to call, take time, and they're going to bring in a new pitcher. The new pitcher for the Mets will be Addison Reed. He is a grade B pitcher. YZ modifiers. He's a left-handed pitcher. Pesky is a left-handed batter, so he'll be grade A for this first batter. And we'll close the books almost on um, uh, the starting pitcher, Harvey. For seven and two-thirds innings, gave up six hits. Struck out three, walked two. He's given up two earned runs and is responsible for the runner at second. Here's the pitch to Pesky with two outs. 62 is a roll, and that is a strikeout. So Reed comes in and puts out the fire for the Mets. But the Red Sox tie it up. We go to the ninth, 3-3. Three to three. The new pitcher for Boston will be James Bagby, Jr., and he is a grade C pitcher with an R modifier. He's a right-handed pitcher pitching to Wilmer, Wilmer Flores will lead off for the Mets. So using the optional rule and basic as I do, same hand in this, uh, his grade will go up to a B for this first batter. Here's the pitch to Flores. 34 is a fly out to center field. One down in the top of the ninth. Juan Lagares. 22 is a base hit. And so that will give speed at first. And Lagares has three singles in today's game. So he's three for four. And timeout for a pitch hitter for Addison Reed. The pitch hitter will be Michael Conforto on it in his inaugural Major League season. And when we come to the bottom of the ninth, the new pitcher will be Jerry's Familia. He's warming up in the bullpen. Jim Bagby, Bagby is set. He pitches to Conforto. 31 is a nine against a grade C pitcher with a runner on first. That's going to be a ground out to third. The base runner going to second. Two outs. Ligaris is at second, and the Grandy man will come to bat for New York. He has one for four, but the one was a home run in the first. Curtis Granderson. 34 is the roll, and that's going to be a fly out to center field. So the Mets, bottom of the ninth, score tied 3-3. Three to three. So Jerry's Familia is an A-C pitcher with the XY modifiers. And that closes the book on Matt Harvey. Gave up six hits, struck out three, walked two, and gave up two earned runs. Here's the pitch to Dominic DiMaggio. That's going to be a 9 against the AC pitcher. That's going to be an out. Let's see what kind of an out. Ground out to shortstop. One down. Ted Williams. Tempting to almost walk to Ted Williams. You don't want a home run to end the game. But he's going to go ahead to pitch, pitch to him. Here's the pitch. 51 is going to be an 8, and that's going to be a pop out to third base. Rudy York. There's the pitch to York. 1 6 is a ground out to the shortstop. 6 to 3. So we've ended regulation, and we're going to extras tied 3 to 3. Okay, the new pitcher for the Red Sox will be Bob Klinger. He is going to be a grade C pitcher because um, he's going to be, he might be in for the long haul if this game goes extra innings. 
uh, several extra innings. So he's going to be a great to see. No modifiers. Daniel Murphy leads off for the Mets. Pitch to Murphy is a 46. That's going to be a ground out to the pitcher. One to three. One away. Yohanna Cespedes. That is a walk. And Cespedes will go to first. He has speed. Lucas Duda is a batter. 32 is a 26. Better is safe at first. Ground out second to short. Retiring the base runner. So no longer speed at first. We have slow at first. And But the Mets are not going to play it safe. Two outs. David Wright. 52 is a roll of 27, a ground out to third base. Go to the bottom of the 10th, Mets 3, Red Sox 3. And we're going to take time out to change pitchers for the Mets. The new pitcher for New York is going to be Bartolo Colon, the ancient one. And he's a great Z, Z pitcher, ZZ modifier. And he is in there because there might be some in innings involved here. Here's the pitch to Bobby Doerr. One, two, is a ground out to second base. Pinky Higgins. Three, five is a walk. Or not, because he's great ZZ. Two balls and no strikes. So here's a pitch to Higgins. 21 is a fly out to right field. Wally Moses. 35 is a 40 play result. Foul, foul ball. Strike one. 61 is a Player is all 32, a fly out to right field. Go to the top of the 11th, score still tied, 3 to 3. Travis Diorna will lead off for the Mets. 54 is a fly out to right field, one down. Romer Flores, also a fly out to right field, two away, Juan Lagares, he is three for four on the day, three singles, fly out to center field. So the Mets go quietly in the top of the 11th, Bartolo Colon comes back out to pitch the bottom of the 11th, he will face Hal Wagner. 33 is a base hit for Hal Wagner. Play result of 7. Bob Klinger is going to stay in and try to sacrifice Wagner in the scoring position. Wagner is an average speed runner. 1 2 is a 25 on the sacrifice chart. That's a double play pop out. The runner is doubled off second, caught by the catcher. So 2 to 3 on the base runner and score 2 on Bob Klinger. So he didn't help his cause there. Go to the top of the order Johnny Pesky. 51 is an 8 against a great C pitcher. Pesky is going to be on with a single. Speed at first. Two outs. Dominic DiMaggio. Sixty-five is going to be a 
foul out to the catcher. So we go to the top of the 12th. Score is still tied 3-3. Three to three. Yeah, Bartolo Colon's going to stay in the game and lead off the Mets 12. Fifty-four is a fly out to right field. So solid contact, but one away. Curtis Granderson. Forty-four is going to be a eight against a grade C pitcher. That's going to be a single, and the Mets will have speed. Uh, average runner speed used to have speed, but not at this age. At first base, we have Dan Murphy coming to bat. One away. Here's the pitch to Murphy. Pop out to the catcher. Two down. And Yohannes Cespedes. That's a base on balls. So we have second time in a row Cespedes has been walked. That's out with two outs, first and second. So the threat going here. Lucas Duda is the batter. He's a left-handed batter, right-handed pitcher. Here's the pitch to Duda. 26 is a strikeout. Bottom of the 12th. Score tied 3-3. Three to three. Colon is still on, and he will face Ted Williams. Williams has had a slow day today. One hit and five at bat. He has an RBI. 45, that's going to be two balls and no strikes. And ball four. So a rare walk given up by Colon. Williams is at first. Nobody out, and Rudy York comes to the plate. Strikeout. Bobby Dorr. Dorr had 18 home runs in 1946 at 271. 51 is going to be a roll of 9 against grade C. That is out of first. Ground out to third. Williams goes to second. Now two outs. The runner in scoring position. And the Mets are going to change pitchers here. Okay, the new pitcher for New York will be Tyler Clifford. He's a grade A pitcher with a Y and W modifier. He has two outs. A base runner at second. Here's the pitch to Pinky Higgins. It's going to be a fly out to left field. Ending the bottom of the 12th, we go to the top of the 13th. The score tied 2-2. Two two. Bob Klinger remains in the game for the Red Sox. And Tyler Clipper may stay in also. It depends if they get, get down to his spot in the batting order. Here's the pitch to David Wright. 64 is a base on balls. So the Mets start with Wright at first. Travis Bjarnod, the batter. He will sacrifice. Forty-six is going to be strike one, foul strike. Eight is going to be a sacrifice to the pitcher to second base, cover, covering first. But right, a fast runner will get the second safely on the successful sacrifice. So one down. 
and the batter is Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores is two for five. He has a double RBI and a single. Here's the Crystal Flores. Six, 16 is a 28 against a column one with a runner on second base. It is a ground out to shortstop with the base runner holding at second base. Two down. And that brings up Juan Ligaris. Ligaris will be intentionally passed. He is three for five today. Pitcher's spot is next. So Ligaris goes to first. Clipper will go out of the game. And time out to find a pitcher for, for New York. The pitch hitter will be one wild man Uribe. It's two down. Klinger stays in the game. Here's the pitch to Uribe. 52 is a play result of 27. Ground out to third base. So we go to the bottom of the 13th inning, still tied 3-3. The new pitcher for New York is going to be Eric Godel. He is a great B pitcher, X and Z modifiers. Wally Moses leads off the bottom of the 13th for the Red Sox. 61s, they fly out the right field. Al Wagner, two strikes out, and Bob Klinger is going to stay in since there's two outs and nobody on. Goto pitches the Klinger, 26, that's going to be a ground out to shortstop. We go to the top of the 14th, Mets three, Red Sox three. Curtis, Curtis Granderson leads off of the Mets. 24 is a strikeout. Danny Murphy. 21 is a ground out to second base. 2 away. And Ioannis Cespedes. 62 is a strikeout. Go to the bottom of the 14th, still tied, 3 to 3. Eric Goto will stay in for New York, and he will be pitching to the top of the Red Sox order, Johnny Pesky. 24, that's a fly out to left field. Dominic DiMaggio. That's a base hit for DiMaggio. Speed at first base, one away, and the dangerous Ted Williams. Here's a pitch to Williams. 36 is going to be two balls and no strikes. They're dealing carefully with Williams. They don't want to walk him and put the time around on second. That guy's just to bite the ball and try to pitch to him. 42 is going to be a base on balls. So that will put the runner in scoring position with one down. Sox have a threat here in the bottom of the 14th. Rudy York is the batter. The pitch to York. 35 is a play result of 14. He has a Z modifier, so two balls and no strikes. 66 is going to be a second column roll. And this will probably do it. It's going to be a 35. It's a 2, which would be a home run to the pesky pole in right field. Except for he has a double column, so we use number 5. 
and that's a triple going to be scored as a single because that's all it takes for the runner to score and Rudy York gets the game winning hit for the Boston Red Sox scoring Dom DiMaggio here in the bottom of the 14th inning quite a finish to these two classics Red Sox 4 and the 2015 New York Mets 3 will be back with the wrap up Okay, this contest was taken in extra innings. 14 were played today. A lot of free baseball. They're taken by the Boston Red Sox of 1946, 4 to 3 over the Mets. The Mets had three runs, eight hits, and I have that backwards on the score sheet. They committed three errors. Red Sox committed one error. They had four runs, and they had 10 hits. The winning pitcher was Bob Klinger, who I think was the star of the game. Klinger went five innings, gave up two hits, struck out three, walked he walked three. But that was some stellar relief pitching over a long period of time. And um, he is the winning pitcher, Eric Godel, the loser. Thanks for joining us, and God bless.